Hi everyone, yes, it's Troy, I'm back. Finally, I now have the next video up. I'm sorry it's taken so long for those who have subscribed. Thank you very, very much for doing so. You're probably expecting that it's going to be, we're expecting that it was gonna be the Artist Black Cherry review with the Lace Sensor Hemi Humbuckers on board. That is not the one we're doing today, but it is going to be very, very close. I did say I was gonna do a follow-up from the very first video, and I absolutely am, and it's gonna be within the next couple of weeks. Now that I've just said it, I've gotta do it. Anyway, but you will see it, because I'm gonna demonstrate a little later with what we are looking at today, and that is the TZ Audio Stellar X3 condenser microphone. Now, I've been wanting to do some vocal recordings for quite some time. I've done a little bit. I bought one of those really, really cheap $40 condenser microphones off eBay, and I recorded with it, and look, it did the job, but I found this particular microphone after I was uh, emailed and reached out from TZ, or from TZ Audio themselves to see if I would consider buying the microphone and becoming an affiliate or uh, an endorsement as such. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So without further ado, let's look at it. And here it is. Now, I bought this on Amazon because that was the place to go and buy it. Now, I was got this three days ago and I opened this and then my daughter said to me, Dad, why don't you do an unboxing video? Well, luckily I, uh, I stopped as soon as she, I opened the first part. So I haven't actually opened the actual main microphone itself. So that is exactly what we're gonna do right now. Now, I have been saving up to, to get this. Uh, eventually, I got enough money, saved up, and bought it. So after speaking to uh, Derek uh, online through emails, back and forth with how the whole um, program works with uh, buying the microphone and uh, getting your money back type thing, I thought, radio, why not, why not? let's go. I actually uh, checked out quite a few um, reviews that existed who were comparing this microphone to some very, very high-end microphones as well. And I thought, absolutely, why not? Let's, let's, let's try it out. So without further ado, let's actually get into this. So as you can see, it's uh, without, before I even take off the plastic wrap, it is very well presented. Um, this actually was shipped out of, the TZ Audio is actually in, uh, the company itself is actually in the US, um, but I'm pretty sure 100% these are made in America. I will confirm that, but TZ Audio themselves are in California. Uh, you can obviously check out the website itself. So let's get this actually opened up so that we can actually look at it. this way. Awesome. Okay, there is, uh, looks like what is a, a little sign off quality sheet with a serial number and it's actually been, looks like it's actually, actually been signed by someone and obviously with a little spec sheet which we'll pull out but I've actually got the specs online on the tablet and it said online that it actually came with is very, very cool little case here. Now I've literally just taken it, as you can see, the plastic wrap, and there is a small dent just here. Now, the box itself is not dented, so that's not the greatest of starts, but it is just the case for it anyway. So, let's check it out. Cool. There is a little pencil case, which obviously we won't call it a pencil case because it's not holding a pencil. There is the pop guard. There is the shock mount, which is actually a, a fully hard um, metal shock mount with the elastic. So it's not one of your, you know, if you buy your cheaper end um, plastic shock mounts. So that is definitely good. 
and then you've got the actual Stellar X3 itself. There is also your usual little microphone thread adapter. So let's just put that there. Now let's check this out. Now of course, now being a condenser microphone, of course you need 48 volts phantom power to power it up and to use it. Now first impressions, very, very first impressions because I've never held one of these. I've never even seen one of these in real life. This is literally the first time and it is got some weight to it. So to me, that is obviously a really, really good sign. Normally if you've got something that is plasticky and very, very light, you're obviously very, very hesitant for something that is supposed to be of such a high quality and to produce such good sound. And this really does uh, feel really good in the hand. Now, I can tell you right now, it is 440 grams for the actual microphone itself, which for its actual size is pretty good. So for those who are curious, uh, from the top right down to the bottom of the XLR import, you're talking, looking at about uh, 155 mil. Uh, and if you're wondering what that is, if you happen to be in the US looking over, you're talking about just over six inches, and I mean just over six inches. Uh, yeah, all right, let me give you a quick few specs on the Stellar X3 by TZ Audio. Okay, it is a gold spurted Spotted, sorry, 34 mil K67 style um, capsule. Uh, the frequency range is from 20 hertz through to 20 kilohertz. It's a cardioid pattern pickup, which I consider to be really, really good. Um, it's got an impedance of about 110 ohms, not about, of 110 ohms. Um, the signal to noise ratio is 87 uh, decibels as well. And like I said, it's already 400, it's 440 uh, grams. It's, it's 48 power, uh, 48 volt phantom powered condenser recording microphone. All right, so let's uh, unwrap the, the shock mount. This really is, it's really good, I like it. Simple fact that it is metal, so you know it's gonna last definitely that bit longer. Now inside, we'll get a closer shot. Uh, a little later. Inside the shock mount is a thread which actually turns fully through. You can independently turn uh, from the bottom. And on the, just on the inside, again, we'll get a close shot of it afterwards. There is a thread on the inside of the, on the outside part of the XLR input. So that was obviously go in and you can t turn it on from the bottom. So it's not actually physically held like through a slip-in or clamp module type shock mount. And that in itself, it's probably worth doing a video somewhere down the track, I don't know, a year or two from now, just to see how long these elastics actually last. But you know, these are ones, these, these are elastics are something that you can you can replace quite easily. But the, the bottom line is the fact that it's got the steel um, frame shock mount really is impressive. And it's not like it's super thin either. It's actually a decent gauge steel. So the whole idea is that I've, uh, when I was looking at these online, is that not only can they be used uh, as a vocal microphone, but you can certainly put it in front of an instrument. So I'm gonna put it in front of an electric guitar amp with the Artist 335 and in front of my PV Classic 50. And I'm also gonna set up and put it in front of uh, my acoustic guitar and just see what it sounds like with literally an acoustic sound coming out from that, just to get uh, a slight variation from, you know, an electric and amplified instrument through to an acoustic one. Uh, obviously, we'll also uh, put me in front of it and we'll just talk through it and we'll get some, see what the actual sound is like as well. Now I'm not actually obviously comparing it to anything else. I certainly wasn't going to compare it against the $40 cheaper that I got off of eBay because it's just an absolutely completely unfair comparison. And um, I've certainly used quite a few different recording microphones in my time through different bands and different projects we're doing 
Um, you know, obviously your typical Rode NT1s, um, some AKG top end microphones and some of those really, really good quality Neumann uh, recording microphones as well. So let's get it all set up and then we'll be uh, right back to let's get some sound indicators as well. Now what I didn't point out too is that on this particular model, the X3, there was also two um, switches so that you've got a high pass filter and you've got a, 10, uh, a zero to a minus 10 decibel cutout switch as well. Um, now there is a, a, a model just below this one, which is the Stellar X2. And that was the one that was actually originally uh, thrown to me as an offer um, through the endorsement deal. And after I started looking around at what it was like, I found the X3 online and I went, actually, you know what, I'd prefer that one. So I got back in contact with Derek from TZ Audio and he said, yep, sure, no problem, same deal applies. And that's what I did. So go and check out the TZ Audio website, go and check out uh, the X2, uh, the X3, but the X2 also has a vintage model as well. You could obviously check out online. All the specs, all the details are online. So check it out. Um, and obviously there are other re reviews out there. But in the meantime, let's get this set up and we'll go from there. Okay, we're back. I'm now using the Stellar X3 TZ Audio condenser microphone. Uh, now I obviously had a quick listen. I had to set some audio levels. Uh, I'm doing everything uh, on my own today. So uh i've already had a listen and i had a listen through the headphones and instantly i thought wow it had such great um clarity number one and but it also has some uh, has great uh body and warmth um and for the kind of style of music that i'm most likely to be recording uh that is really gonna suit now this has got absolutely no eq on it whatsoever i've got the i've only got a very very basic desk uh with the high mid and low dials uh, and everything is just set straight up so i haven't got any extra bass treble nothing at all it is all set straight uh the the um the zero to minus 10 decibels is set on zero at the moment i'll quickly switch it to minus 10 and you can hear there's definitely a bit of a drop so obviously the switch works and does what it's required I'm going to put it back to there and then the high pass i'll just turn that on and then i don't know if you can hear any difference or not i certainly could when i was listening well obviously you can also be the judge of that so by all means leave a comment let us know what you think let us know if you've already got one of these microphones or if you've got the x2 as well or the x2 uh, and let us know what that is and how they might compare so i'm going to put that back now i did put it on the pop guard i'm just going to take it off and now you can hear what it sounds like without the pop guard. Now obviously the, uh, the filter is to obviously help um, reduce the popping sound and air noise. Um, I've actually got a pop guard back at home. Uh, I've, I've come to church to use this as a, a studio because it's got far more room and uh, a far more interesting background and setup than what I've got. Uh, so without uh, any further ado, let's go and set this up in front of uh, an acoustic guitar and then we'll set it up in front of the uh, PV Classic 50 with the Artist 335 Black Cherry, and then we'll also see what the two things, uh, how the two instruments vary with using this uh, condenser microphone. If you've got any other questions or whatever, by all means, throw them in the comments. Shoot me, um, there's, uh, you know, shoot me an email or two, by all means, and uh, ask me any questions. Happy to uh, answer. Uh, it might take me a little while to get, uh, get back, but I'm certainly going to reply and as quickly as I can. I nearly forgot, I didn't mention how much this even costs. So, if you go to the TZ Audio website, you're going to find that it's down as $349.99 USD. Now, there is a currency conversion on the website. You can go up to the top and about the right-hand side, and you can change it to Australian dollars, and it comes up as 534 Australian dollars. Now, over several weeks, I had obviously gone and checked it out, I was checking different things, and I was just checking if the currency would change, if the amount would change when I change it to Australian dollars and it didn't so it must have uh, a set uh, currency conversion amount in the background uh, maybe for whatever period of time I don't know I think pretty much the uh, Amazon website too is about the same price don't quote me check it out yourself and, and let us know hey guys well I did say at the beginning of the video that I bought this because I was going to do some vocal recording throughout the year and from now on so instead of just doing an acoustic guitar and an amplified instrument, how about we do some 
a vocal test through a song as well. So I'm going to find a backing track on YouTube, going to put it through the desk. It's obviously not going to sound that great, but it's obviously going to give us an idea as to what this will sound like when someone's actually singing into it. So let's check that out. not surprised, not everything lasts I've broken my heart so many times I stopped keeping track Talk myself in, I talk myself out I get all worked up, then I let myself down I tried so very hard not to lose it I came up with a million excuses I thought I thought of every possibility mm -hmm. I know that someday that it all turn out You will make me work so we can work to make it out And I promise you, kid, that I'll give so much more than I get mm -hmm. I just haven't met you yet Well, there you have it. You've got some kind of an idea what it's going to sound like. Like I said, I didn't change, well, I didn't change any of the settings at all through the EQ. Obviously done in, um, in, a, in a studio environment where you've got someone actually sitting at the desk who can actually then play around with all that a little bit. It's obviously going to make a bit of a difference. Um, so let's move on. Let's get in front of an acoustic and in front of a, a guitar amp and let's just check it out what it sounds like in front of those. Okay, guys, uh, I don't have the lapel mic on. I thought I'd just use the Stella X3 on its own, you can see I'm quite a bit of a distance and I'm above the microphone, but I can still hear me reasonably well. Obviously the guitar is going to be a lot louder and that's what we're actually going to test out now is what it sounds like from there directly into this, uh, as you can see, and there's no uh, filter on top. Now I've still got it on zero gain, I haven't, hadn't, haven't added the minus 10 and I've still got high part just left as flat. So let's just strum through a couple of chords just to get an idea and then we'll put it with the electric in front of uh, a guitar amp and then we'll get another sound there. I think it sounds okay. Again, I haven't changed anything on the desk. Uh, everything is just flat. I haven't added any bass. I haven't added any mids or any top end whatsoever. It's just a raw signal directly from the mic straight to the desk. And it is an analog desk. It's not a digital desk even at that. So uh, let's get it in front of the guitar amp and then we'll check it out there. Well, there you have it everyone, the TZ Audio Stellar X3 Condenser Recording Microphone. Uh, I'm definitely going to be using it, uh, absolutely. I really do like the quality, I like the feel uh, when you put it together. Uh, one thing I didn't mention before, I have certainly had to do uh, many setups before with um, 
recording microphones and the XLR plug plugging into the base of the unit was actually very, very smooth. I've found some sometimes are very hard to get in and out because they make them quite tight fit, obviously. Uh, but this one um, actually goes in really, really smoothly. So minor detail, but something to worth note. Check out their website, the TZ Audio Stellar X3 Condenser Recording Microphone. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more videos, absolutely for sure. I've, uh, if you've got any suggestions, then throw them out. I've got some in-ear monitors that I'm going to check out. Uh, um, someone who does uh, lo a lot of gigs, I've actually got... Um, I've already got, I've, I've used previously the, the typical Shaw um, single and dual driver Shaw in-ears in the past. I've bought some, just uh, I'll tell you what they are when we do the, the next couple of videos on what I've actually bought. Um, but I bought something through AliExpress. I just found them and I thought, oh, okay, let's just try them out. They were quite cheap. But again, things that I'd read, I thought, yeah, I'd definitely worth checking them out, especially for the price. And I've even got some, you know, very expensive molded in-ear monitors as well. So I'll bring them along as a bit of a comparison. But again, let's check it out in the future. Come back, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And thanks very much again for tuning in.